Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Data Tech. I'm your host Anand Kumar. In this video, we're going to learn how we can create DynamoDB in AWS Management Console. The first step is login into Management AWS Management Console. Now, once you log in, uh, now navigate to DynamoDB. If we, if you have used DynamoDB recently, it will show up in the recently visited, like as you can see on my screen, or otherwise we can search for it in the search bar here. I'll click on this. After selecting DynamoDB, we will be greeted with this um, landing page. Here we can, uh, like, uh, here we can directly start with creating a table. We can click on this create table button to start creating a table, or we can click on here, like we can click on the left navigation, click on tables, and here also we can click on create table so let me click here after that this page will start now let's say we want to create a players uh, table that is related to the soccer uh, and it is for an application which uh, gives uh, players rating okay let's call our table a player table And now we know partition key, short key, and the secondary indexes we can apply here. So partition key is something uh, which which we can use, which we need to use it to uniquely identify this. So let's uh, player name. We can have player name as a partition key, and short key is optional. If we don't want to use the composite primary key, then uh, we need not to provide it. We don't have to provide it otherwise we can uh, but here we're going to do it so let's say uh, the team the team where player belongs uh, we keep that as a short key and you can look here like uh, we can select the type of uh, uh, like the data type for our partition key and short key so we have three options binary number and integer Oh, sorry primary number and string we we're picking uh, string for the player name and same goes for the team and now uh, now the next option is in the table setting we get the default setting or the customized setting default setting which provides like uh, it's selected all other various options for you uh, by itself and if you want to go we can go with it but we want to see more settings then use the customized setting we will click on this customized settings and then it, it will ask like what what will be the uh, the storage class for the tables like it will be standard or standard i standard will be like if we want to use for general purpose where the frequency will be more like the data will be accessed frequently where uh, standard i is like where data won't be accessed infrequently pretty much as we have in s3 uh, the next is a capacity calculator uh, we're going to look into that later but the next element uh, is one second i just want yeah so next uh, next element is uh, uh, deciding on whether we want on demand uh, read write capacity mode or provision capacity mode, or like a provisioned version of it so on demand works if we are working with an application where the workload is not known or something like a new application where we can't predict uh, what kind of workload we get but if um, if our application is an already existing application we we can predict like what kind of workload we will get in that case go with the provisions and uh, the next thing is the read capacity and write capacity uh, read and write capacity is basically it's, it's the amount of uh, uh, we, we can think it's like an amount of resources uh, allocated to write uh, to a dynamo tb table so logistics when the last time i checked i think like we can write one kb of data in one second and same goes for the read capacity is the read resources allocated to the uh, dynamo db table and it is like we can read 4 kb of data per second but uh, please check the aws official document to get the more uh, to get more details on the logistics of it but basically these are the resources for your table 
here you can select uh, auto scaling um, like in our case we, we will turn it off because we, we're going to create a simple table we don't have much traffic patterns for us but uh, based on your traffic patterns we can select our minimum and maximum capacities and the target utilizations so we'll turn it off and same thing goes for right capacity we turn it off and by default the provision capacity is 5 if you want you can increase it to 10 or whatever number uh, is uh, is needed uh, in for your table so we'll keep it we'll stick it to 5 uh, the next thing is the uh, secondary indexes so we want to create uh, here we want to create a local secondary index because um, like local secondary index is something which we can create only uh, at the time of uh, table creation uh, global uh, global index is something which we can create later but like local indexes only at the time of table creation so we'll create a local index uh, so in local index as we know the partition key remains same as the base table the partition key of our base table is the player name and the short key let's say we give it a name rating okay so the key is this index name is rating index if you want we can change it but i'll keep it same and the data type of uh, of the rating i'll change it to number okay and after that it's going to ask uh, the attribute projections so which is basically like whatever index is created for you like do do we want all do we want to include specific attributes or we want to include only keys so based on your requirements we can select uh, whatever fits for our for, for us but here i'm going to select all so what that means like in in the like in our secondary index or sorry in like in like rating index we will have all the fields uh, from our base tables or all the attributes from our base tables so let's click on create index after that uh, uh, the next is like a, uh, what with like what will be the uh, encryption key so there is like a, as as we have the encryption key for other services here also like we encryption key is available and a client can bring its own encryption key we can use aws one or we can uh, have the default which is owned by amazon dynamodb so we'll select we'll go with the default and after that uh, there is another option of deletion protection do you want to uh, turn on the deletion protection which basically uh, like a useful for those cases where we accidentally delete something we uh, we turn we, we keep we could keep it off and we can add tags uh, if you want let's click on create table so when we click on create table it will take a couple of minutes uh, to provision this and you can see here like a few things which we uh, is the same options which we were uh, when we were creating the tables what's the table name partition key short key if we it has an index it says that and deletion protection is off and read write provisions and what is the class of this okay so now you can see the table is created because the status is active let's select the player table and uh, now let's explore the table so if we click on this explore table items uh, the currently there is no item in it so you will find it empty and what we can do here let's create an item so the player name let's say messy our team will give it a name abc we add a new attribute let's say uh, number like goals uh, let's give it a number like 100 or something yeah create item so this will create one uh, you can see we like there is one item is created here we'll create another item and let's give it a name okay uh, the team is XYG I'm just making up team name is again uh, let's say England uh, 
we'll add another attribute goal goals let's say give it 100 uh, okay I, I think in the last one we give it goal so we'll give it or it's goal I, I, I can't recall let's say give it 10 create item and yeah it's goal let's add one more player here uh, give it a name let's say Ronaldo team France I'm just making up things we'll add a new attribute that will be number and it will be goal against or let's say goals in mm, Euro Cup so we name it 20 create item so now you can see we have three item in it, in it. and as we know like a DynamoDB is schema less and there is no restriction on or having a defined schema that's why we are able to add this and now the next thing I'm going to show you is the scan and query so uh, if you remember we talked about it there are two ways to retrieve the data from uh, DynamoDB scan and query so we'll first go with query so in query basically uh, like here we can select uh, whether we want to do it against our table or the index table so if you click on this strip drop down you will find the rating index here too so we go against our table first and here the partition key what whatever we want so let's say we want ronaldo and let me see i spell it right yes and the sort key is uh, uh let's say france if we run it it will uh, like when we run this query it will give also give us uh, like how many read capacity units are consumed going to be consumed here so let's say you got it it's a very straightforward like the player name equal to this we run this query and it's still fetching the items might take a couple of minutes and you can see only we get Ronaldo and the read capacity consumed here is 0 0.5 I'll show you in query it's basically we can add filters here to in in a query and when we add a filter in a query it works pretty much like a scan so what happens like it first query the item based on whatever we have in the partition key and short key and after that it scans every elements whatever is the output so it, with the filter it works pretty much like a scan and the last thing I want to show you if we go here players table in indexes we currently have no global secondary indexes if you want to create a secondary index uh, which we all know it's different than the local secondary index where we can click on create index and then uh, we can select our partition key sort key and the index name and also uh, whether we wanna like uh, like all these things whether read capacity write capacity we wanna copy the same as we want and the attributes like we want all, all the attributes or we want only one so what we can do let's give it a name uh, uh, let's give it a name player ID oh no sorry the rating will be uh, let's make team as partition key here the index will be team index read capacity and write capacity will keep it same and we also want to bring all the attribute if we click on create index it will create the index and here one thing we need to we need to keep in mind whenever we are creating a global index it's basically creating a new table so it will take the similar amount of time as we needed for our uh, creation of our table so let's go back to the tables we have only one table if we click here and let's say explore and I just wanna if we go player and I just wanna like show you one second let me refresh this 
like in our query and scan we should have the global index yes so the global index is a team index